I'm going to take over Chelsea for the next 10 seasons. The goal is to win as many trophies as possible, build a dynasty, and make Chelsea the world's best club. But the wheel of career mode is here to ruin our lives. Every season, we're going to spin the wheel once, and whatever challenge comes, we're going to have to complete it. Now, some of these challenges can help us win the Premier League, but some of them could push us towards relegation. Now, let's see over these 10 seasons how many trophies we can win with Chelsea, and where do they land up on the takeover leaderboard? The record is 26, and I think Chelsea might have a chance to break it. All right, boys, season one with Chelsea. Todd Bowley, Chelsea's new owner, I think has done a great job. The squad he's building, it's honestly a bit crazy. Bro, just, just look at the players he's got. Enzo Fernandez, one of the best players of the World Cup this year. They managed to sign him for 120 million, and he's like, what, 21? He's going to be here for the entire time. Then you've got experience like Conte. Don't forget Raheem Sterling, Guy Havertz, and also new signing Ja Felix. And Players like Mount, Pulisic, Kovacic, Aspilicueta all on the bench. This Chelsea side is full of talent. And honestly, if we just get like a good striker, maybe a younger centre-back, I reckon we've got the players to win the Champions League from literally day one. And of course, the new American owners that we've got in Dodd Bowley, they're going to be splashing the cash for us. Let's go. But before we make any signings to improve our team, we got to spin the Wheel of Career Mode and see what challenge we get. Is it going to be a good one or is it going to be a bad one? Uh, I think I think we've gotten lucky with the green challenge to start out with. Make a first team player 99 rated. That's what's up. Let's go. Oh, getting that challenge first is I think going to help the team massively because now, first season itself, we can start winning the big trophies. You know what, guys? We're going to have to be smart. Maybe I can make like a reserve player 99 overall as well. Why? Because the first team players are already good, but making a reserve player straight up 99 is going to just change the game for us. And that's why I'm thinking... What if we make Mikhailo Modric 99 rated? Bro, that would just be insane. I just don't know why I want to do this. Yep, you know what? Let's freaking do this. I'm going to make Mikhailo Modric 99 rated. Put him into that starting 11 as well. And boom, just like that, we've got Mikhailo Modric 99 overall, bro. I'm so curious to seeing how many goals he scores for us. But guys, we're not done yet, though. We've still got two transfers to make to improve this team. Now, I was really convinced we need to sign a new striker, but... I'm I'm honestly thinking, can we maybe convert Jao Felix to a striker? Okay, because he's a center forward, it's a bit of a problem. But if I try and do this, okay, that works. That works. We can now make Felix a first team player like that. Perfect, boys. That that really works. And so I'm thinking with the rest of the money we've got, let's just splash it all on an insane defender. Because I feel like that's where we're really lacking. Or maybe an insane goalkeeper. Now, we'll need a defender, boys, because Thiago Silva is going to lose his overalls a lot. And who better to replace Thiago? go silver with that is in real life region and Marquinhos like crazy how both of them played for PSG but I can't lie I think Marquinhos is going to be a bit expensive and that's why only the one signing in this season but I still think it's worth it if we can just chuck in a hundred million and get Thiago Silva for that I think it's an absolute win and there you go looks like it's working and there you go boys we've got Marquinhos coming into the building let's go what a transfer this is how the team's gonna look like with Marquinhos and boy do I like it, but we're not done yet. I've also got an idea. I feel like Ziyech on the right is a bit of an L since we've got Raheem Sterling. So I'm thinking we play Sterling there. But to make that happen, we're going to have to convert Raheem Sterling to a right winger. So how long is that going to take? Meh, about a week. That's perfect. Meanwhile, we also had transfer offers for some of our players like this one for Hakim Ziyech. And honestly, I'm okay to sell him. But we're selling him to one of our rival city, which can be a bit of an L. And also loaning out Badia Shield for a I think that makes sense too. But I just noticed something that Badi Ashil has a release clause of just 38 million. Let's renew his contract and get that release clause out of there. And there you go. We've got Hakim Ziyech leaving the club. And with that, I'm done with my transfer business for this season. And so, yup, that's going to be our team for the season. I think we've got an incredible first team. Solid depth. A 99 mod break. Marquinhos coming in. Yo, we've built an unbelievable Chelsea team. Let's see how this first season goes. All right. We're at the end of the season and with a 99 rated player and Marquinhos, we couldn't win the league. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. No FA Cup as well. At least we win one trophy. Come on now. The Carabao Cup, that is trophy number one. We topped our Champions League group as well and we destroyed Borussia Dortmund. Oh my. But then Real Madrid on penalties. Did I make a mistake making Modric my 99 rated player? So only the one trophy this season. But hey, at least we saw a lot of growth. Look at 
Havertz, look at Enzo, look at, of course, Jao Felix as well. Bro, the team is insane. I'm, I'm surprised we, we didn't win more. Oh, <laughs> okay. I can't blame Modric, boys. I can't blame Modric because this man just scored 53 goals. I think that might be some sort of record on the channel. Most goals by a single player in a single season. I'm not too sure, but right now, Modric is both our top scorer and top assister, and we're on one trophy so far. That is ridiculous. It's time for the second season with Chelsea, and why do we have Romelu Lukaku. Where's Mr. Felix? Oh, yeah. Ja Felix was on loan at Chelsea. We'll need to sign him if we want him in our team. And you know what? I kind of do. I kind of do because I like that center forward playing in our team. So we'll see. I'm not a big fan of Romelu Lukaku, that's for sure. First, though, we got to spin the wheel. Now, we got a green challenge last season. Doesn't mean it's going to be good this season. And I want to cry already. I, I, I really do. Randomly release three first team players. Good thing we've got Lukaku in there. So He's going to be one of the players hopefully we release. So, yep, before we make any signing, three of our first team players are going to have to get binned out. All right, boys, let's see which is the first player we're going to have to release from our team. No, no, we just signed him. We just signed him. Marquinhos, our best defender. He only lasted one season at Chelsea. No, oh, he's gone. He's legit gone. He's gone, guys. Marquinhos is gone. Spinning the wheel again. Why is it got to be three players? Players, man, that is a lot. Who's the second player gonna be? Ben Chilwell. That is that's bad, but honestly, could have been a lot worse. So I'll take it. Goodbye, sweet prince Ben Chilwell. There you go, he's gone. Oh, good thing is we have Mark Cucurella, who's kind of like just as good. So that is that, that's decent. That is very decent. I'm happy with it. Spinning the wheel for the last time. Who is it gonna be? Please be Romelu Lukaku. Please be Romelu Lukaku. Yes, yes. Literally the player I wanted to release it. Him, Romelu Lukaku. Come on. Guys, I've never been this happy releasing a player. There you go. Big Rom, gone. And finally, with that, we're done with our challenge for season two. But now, we need to sign some players. We've got 156 million to spend, which is a decent budget. But I'm feeling we need to maybe sell a few random extras that we've got in our team to just generate some cash. And so we began clearing out the club, selling a fair few players. For example, we sold Malang Sar for about 7.7 .7 million. Dalim Hudson Adoy to Leipzig for 34 million. And with that, we had wrapped up a pretty good club clear out. Our budget was now up to 200 million. And it was now time to sign Felix, but what? How did he move up to an 89 overall from an 86 at the start of the season? I'm confused, but hey, I want to get Ja Felix, and I think by the looks of it, we're going to have to spend our entire budget on him. Is there anyone I can swap for him? I don't think so. We're just going to have to pay the cash to get him from Atletico Madrid. He's one of the best center forwards now in the world, and it's going to cost us about 180 million. Oh my god, and, and with the bad objective that we got from the wheel, we won't be able to strengthen the rest of our squad if we pay this much money. But I still want Felix, boys. I really do. So we're going to try and seal this at 160 million. Come on, get this done. There you go. And yes, with that, Jao Felix is now a Chelsea player permanently. And so after some more player sales and season ticket money, we're up to 64 million. But is that going to be enough to make any improvements to the team? I really think we need to get a better center back than Fafana. So maybe let's try and figure something out. I have an idea. What if we're able to weaken Man City and sign Laporte? I think that'll be huge. Man City thrive us last season in the Premier League and in every competition, this will be smart. And I'm thinking, if I give them, say, Fafana, who's not really growing all that much, it might just be a really big win this deal. Let's try and offer 33 million plus Fafana. 36 works. I think that's a superb deal. And there you go, boys. We've got Imeric Laporte as our new signing. I can't lie, guys. That is looking like a team with Felix coming in with a 99 Modric. Even though the wheel gave us a red challenge, three players to release from the first team, I think we've made a pretty good comeback and let's see how this season goes let's go guys we win our first premier league title it was bound to happen our team is absolutely insane that's trophy number two we're becoming the catapult cup kings that's back to back let's go three trophies now oh no but in the champions league i thought this was it this season but psg get the better of us in the semi-finals but hey we're getting better and better maybe next season we'll end up winning it to be fair guys with the team we've got so many 90 plus rated players we need to be winning the Champions League a lot sooner. But I blame the wheel for this season. I blame the wheel. Once again, Modric with an absolutely ridiculous season. He's our top scorer right now. We're on three trophies. 
let's see how things continue. It's time to kick off season three and you'll notice one big change. Angelo Conte has left us to join PSG. He's French, he wants to go to Paris, can't blame him. But yeah, that means we'll need to sign a quality CDM this season. That is absolutely a must. Because we're not, I guess, winning the Champions League, our budget is still not getting a bit insane. Like I'd expect 200 million plus, but 120 million, okay, we'll work with it. But first, is the wheel of career mode gonna cause problems for us? Let's find out. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. The wheel of career mode is stitching us up this season. We gotta accept the first three transfer offers that come in. That is just brutal. Let's go, guys. The first one is a loan offer for Pulisic. If this goes through, that is brilliant. Um, just a one-year loan deal for Pulisic, and that's one of the first transfer offers that we can just accept. Brilliant. I don't mind giving Pulisic away for a season. We've got Modric, but the second transfer offer is gonna be Reese James. No, he's one of the best right wing backs in the game. And for 131 million, we're gonna have to accept this offer. Pulisic could be gone. Reese James as well. Is it gonna get any worse? And there you go, boys. Reese James has been sold. I didn't want to do it, but when the wheel of career mode decides something, you just gotta do it. Guys, we're so lucky. We got two transfer offers at the same time. One for Laporte, one for Fafana, but the Fafana one was before, and we escaped the final player to sell, because it's David Dantra Fafana. I don't care we're selling him. That's a relief, and with that, we're done with our objective. Now that we're done with the wheel for this season, time to improve this team. We need a CDM, absolutely, and oh, 240 million. How did that happen? Pretty sure it's because of Reese James's sale, so we need to get a replacement for him, and we need a CDM. For the right back position, I end up signing a very like-for-like -like player in Jedemiah Frimpong. He was kind of expensive, though, but a lot less than Reese James. 72 million for him. But now for the CDM, I'm thinking, let's sign Gwen Dozi and try and convert him to a CDM. If we could pull this off, that'll be insane. His contract's expiring. I think I can get a deal on this. And yup, it looks like we can get him for his exact valuation. That's perfect. And so there you go. We've got Gwen Dozi at the club, but can we convert him to a CDM? It's always a doubt when you can or cannot because the game is a bit dodgy, but well, there you go. We can convert him. And with that, boys, our team, I think, is sorted for this season. It's looking freaking amazing. Champions League time, maybe? Oh, come on. How does Liverpool end up beating us to the Premier League title? We've got a 99-rated player in our team, man. Like, chill. Ha, ah, that's frustrating. We're still on the three trophies. Whoa. Arsenal beat us in the Community Shield as well. What is going on? Is this season turning out to being a disaster? Well, at least we win the FA Cup trophy number four. Make that five. We've literally won a hat-trick of Carabao Cups. And oh my god, for the first time ever, we've made the Champions League final. Let's go. Okay, if we win this, we'll be on six trophies. I think in three seasons. That is a pretty good start. Can we beat AC Milan in this final, please? Yes, we do. First Champions League. And that's trophy number six with Chelsea. I don't know why I've got a feeling, boys, but the team we've got and the team we're building, we might just break the takeover leaderboard record because we've got a 99 rated Montreux. The rest of the team is insane. I think it's coming. Just look at that. Mikhailo Montreux might set a record on the channel for most goals over 10 seasons at this rate. What a player. It's just crazy. And of course, we're on six trophies, so that's amazing. We've just won the Champions League, and the only thing that can slow us down is the wheel of career mode. What's the challenge we're gonna get this season? Ay ay ay. Give three first team players permanent release clauses. We're literally getting the worst possible challenges now. I can only see green on the wheel after this. This is mental. Uh, three players are gonna have to get release clauses, and you know what? I've got an idea. Because how high-rated Modric is, and his value is like 300 million. I reckon if we put him on a release clause, that will be just insane. Because I don't think any club will be able to pay it regardless. And my god, he's 99 overall and he's making 50,000 per week. That is insane. We don't need to give him an extension or anything. He's already on six years. We'll give him a 400 million release clause. I think that's fair. And we should be able to retain him. New contract as well. Done. That's one player now. We've got two more to go. Who else in this team I'm willing to let go of? I think it's got to be Koulibaly. He's 34 as well, so if somebody pays that release clause, I'll be more than happy. He wants one as well of 50 million, and I can't deny it, so there you go. With that, Koulibaly is the second player we're given a release clause. Guys, I just realized we don't have Edouard Mendy in the team. Where on earth has he gone? Oh, wow. He's become a free agent now. Ah, oh, that is... That is a bit of an L. We didn't renew his contract for some reason. We can't sign him now. So I guess the final player I'm gonna give a contract and a release clause is gonna be Kepa, because why not? He's part of the first team now. Anyway, I'm probably going to sign like another keeper. So I think this makes sense. We'll put him on again, a 50 million release clause. I think that should be fun. 
and well, he wants 40. Accepted. There you go. With that, we're done with this season's real challenges. Okay, now that that's done, we can focus on improving the team, which we need to for this season. We've got 146 million. I don't know why we're not getting more money into the team. Come on, Dodd Bowler. You're going to be pumping in the cash. I want to straight up bring in one of the best keepers in the world, Mike McNan. Let's do it. And you know there's nothing more than I like than a player with his contract expiring, so let's pull this off. Nah, if we get him for like 60 million, it'll be a steal. It'll be a steal. About 67? Well, I think I can get this down to 65. This is an absolute steal. Well, 65.7. Works for me. Though. And there you go, boys. We've got Mike McNan for about 65 million joining the club. I think what this team also needs is a new centre-back, and maybe we can swap out Koulibaly. That's what I'm thinking right now, but just 74 million, we're gonna have to work a swap deal or something. I can't lie, I like the idea of bringing William Sally, but this would be amazing, but we're gonna have to do a madness with the swap deal system. Let's see if we can pull this off. I put in Koulibaly, chuck in 50 million. Is that gonna work? Nah, they want 78, but it's close to working. It's gonna take our entire budget, but if we can make this work, I reckon it's an insane transfer. And look at this, we've just about pulled it off. Come on. And there you go, boys. We've got William Saliba at Chelsea. It's time to see if we can defend our Champions League title. Okay, I'm, I'm not too sure about this. How do we not end up winning the league with the team we've got? But fair enough, fair enough. City are unreal. And we lose the community shield as well. Um, This is not going according to plan. We do win the FA Cup trophy number seven in the bag. Oh, we finally end up losing the Carabao Cup for the first time ever. Oh, come on. We lost the Super Cup as well. If we keep doing this, we're not breaking any record. And in the Champions League, you think this knocked us out? Did some of our players get bought out with their release laws? I don't think so. Kepa's still here. We still have Mikhailo Modric. And Koulibaly was traded out. So I don't know what went wrong this season. Another solid season for Modric, who I think is our top scorer and top assister. Like, this is getting crazy now. But yeah, trophies-wise, we gotta step things up. We're on seven. Spinning the wheel this season, we've been getting so much red. For next season, I want a good challenge, boys. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. What is happening out here? Swap your goalkeeper with the Premier League's worst club. That is just utterly ridiculous. So as things stand, the worst club in the Premier League is Southampton, and we need to sign their goalkeeper now and swap ours for him. Okay, who is Southampton's keeper this season? Let's see. They're still in the Premier League, which is a good sign. Oh, no. It's Gavin Bazunu. Oh, and he's joining Leicester City when the transfer window opens, so we're gonna have to sign this guy. Are you actually joking? Well, he's 77 rated, which at least isn't terrible, okay? So we're... Oh, no. I just clocked. We're gonna have to put Mike McNan in a swap deal for him. I just wanna cry right now. And there you go. We've got this NPC goalkeeper joining the club. It's a sad day in football as we traded Mike McNan for him. I traded my Nan for this dude. Oh, no. Well, we can now improve the rest of the team, and I think we need a new centre-back, and I just want to sign one player, because that's all the money we're getting to sign, like, one insane player, 140 million. What an idea. I don't know why Jules Conde feels like a player that would absolutely ball out at Chelsea, but can we afford him? That's the real question. Probably we should be able to. We'll, we'll need a player like Jules Conde at the back with that 77-rated goalkeeper we've got, so, yeah, we need to sign him. Okay, I'm gonna try 100 mil. 100 mil, I think, should work. I really think it should. 104. Okay, we'll work with it. Let's get it done. And there you have it, boys. Mr. Jules Conde at Chelsea. We'll absolutely take that. I'm kind of unsure what to expect from this season with that keeper in there. But let's see what happens. As expected, we didn't win the league with a 77 rated keeper. I mean, they were a point above our city, but we still put up a fight. Well, we do get the Community Shield final. That is definitely nice. Trophy number eight. No Carabao Cup for a while. I'm not liking this. I don't have too many expectations in the Champions League, but that's the only tournament left. We finished second in our group. We knock out Bayern Munich. Okay, maybe expectations going up a bit. We knock out Juventus. We knock out Barcelona. We're in the Champions League final. Bro, it always happens. Whenever I get like one random terrible player in the team, we still end up doing immense madness. I don't get it. I don't get it. Can we win the Champions League though? That would be just ridiculous with a 77 rated keeper. Nope. Uh, of course not. Of course not. Well, we reached the final with this team. You guys know, first thing we're doing next season is getting a new goalkeeper. And so we end the first five seasons with Mikhailo Modric just completely dominating all the stats and we're on eight trophies. It's time for season six and I think it's obvious what we need to do this season. We need to get a new keeper. That's that's like the first signing we're gonna make. But first, the wheel of career mode is gonna decide what happens next. Come on, like, look 
at the amount of green on the wheel. Give us a green challenge and please be a good one. And I think it is. Sign a Future Stars player. You guys know EA release a batch of Future Star players every year. And they've done it once again. And we can sign one of those players. Okay, so these are the Future Stars. Some of them at least. And we can sign one of them. We've already got Modric. But looking at my team, none of these players would really help us out all that much. That's how insane of a team we've got. We could just get Guardiola for the sake of it. But there is actually a team do a Future Stars where there's, there's Musiala. There's Araujo. Enzo Fernandez, who we already have. Oh, Ilan Melier. We need a goalkeeper, boys. And I think we'll just sign Melier, an 88-rated version of him. Done. And there you go, boys. We've just got Future Stars Ilan Melier into our team. He's 88-rated. That's, I guess, our goalkeeper problem sorted. For once, the wheel has been kind. I can't lie, boys. We've legit built a super team. Like, every player in this team is freaking insane. Honestly, I'm confident we're going to win the Champions League this season. Yeah, I'm, I'm confident. I won't make any other signings. Like, who am I going to sign? Who am I going to get better than Enzo in midfield? Better than Saliba and Conde at the back? Better than Frimpo? This team is perfect. Let's get that Champions League. And there you go. I told you we didn't need any signings. Our team is amazing right now. We win the Premier League. Trophy number nine. Let's go. All we needed was a bit of help from the wheel and look at the difference. But the main competition I want to win is the Champions League and being second in the group does not give me hope. But okay, we knocked out Bayern Munich. Scratch that. I've got a ton of hope now. And we beat Dortmund and also Man City. Now in the final against Barcelona. Kind of expected because you look at our team. We should be in a Champions League final with this team. So let's get this done. Champions League final. We've lost one before with an NPC goalkeeper. And we lost one again with an amazing goalkeeper. That's actually sad. We're not going to break the record because we keep losing finals, man. Honestly. You would honestly think with a 99 rated Modric, we'd be winning more trophies, man. Like, honestly. Well, talk about Modric. He's got a 400 million release clause and I'm surprised nobody has tried to sign him up, you know. that That's interesting. But yeah, he is comfortably our top goal scorer and I think even our top assister. It's time for season seven and I'm spinning the wheel to see what we can get. There's so much green. Come on, give me like a good challenge, man. Honestly. Ooh, this is nice. This is nice for season seven. Swap a position from Barcelona. To be fair though, boys, who do we swap? Our team is cracked. Honestly, maybe Raheem Sterling because of his age. Yeah, this might be a good idea to get a better right winger, but do Barcelona have anyone decent in the right wing or left wing position? We can just convert. All right, let's see. La Liga, Barcelona, right wing. Come on, Ilias, that's all. What about right mid? No players at all. So it's got to be a left winger who we sign. Surely they've got some good ones. Ansu Fati, Ferran Torres. I think we do a swap for Ansu Fati. Play him on the right side. I reckon that'll work for us. So here we go, boys. We're trying to run a swap deal between Ansu Fati and Raheem Sterling. I guess we chuck in another 30 million and that should get this deal done. Maybe 44. That's fine by me. Let's get it done. And there you go, boys. A new superstar at Chelsea. It's Ansu Fati. I think it's the perfect time for us to replace Sterling. We already had Madueke available as backup. Bro, the team we've built, it's its actually just cracked. We'll change Ansu's position. I reckon this season, we don't need to make any more transfers again. The squad is genuinely complete. Bro, what is our luck? We signed Ansu Fati and in three months, Bruh. he gets a lateral collateral ligament injury. That is actually ridiculous. I can't believe it. I legit can't. Well, thankfully, we've got depth in Madueke and I believe the rest of the squad is still cracked. Look at Jao Felix, 96 rated. Bro, that is mental. No more transfers this season. We're simulating until the end with the hopes of winning the Champions League. End of the season, we end up winning the Premier League. Now we're talking. This is trophy number 10, by the way. Let's go. Yeah, 10 trophies in seven seasons doesn't sound all that impressive. And Brighton beat us in the Community Shield. Meanwhile, we do win the FA Cup. I'll take that trophy number 11. And oh my days, we reached the Champions League final. Things you do love to see. But we've lost like two Champions League finals. I think even three. Maybe just two. But oh, we don't have Philly for this game. Brilliant. Uh, who do we play? I, I think it's it's got to be maybe Mason Mount or Guy Havertz false nine. Let's just run with that and see what happens in the Champions League final. Oh my god again? We've lost so many Champions League finals. This is crazy. Madrid continues to score crazy goals but just 11 trophies in 7 seasons with Chelsea. Normally you just end up getting sacked at Chelsea for such performance but let's see what we do next season. We're now in season 8 and it feels like we're, we're going to break some sort 
sort of a record for most Champions League defeats, man. Like, can we get out of this rut and start winning some? Well, if the Wheel of Career Mode can help us, yeah, definitely. Let's see. There are a lot of green challenges, but there's the bankrupt one and a red challenge as well. We're gonna get something interesting. Sign a former Chelsea legend and make him 18 years old. Now, because we're so late in the career mode, we're gonna change this to sign a former Chelsea player. Any former player, and we can just uh, make him 18 years old. And I'm thinking, in terms of former players, who do we have here? Probably Salah. Or has he retired? Ah, oh, Salah's retired. How are we gonna find a former Chelsea player? The only player I could think of is a player we sold earlier on in this takeover. Reese James. Perfect. I guess we can sign him, make him 18 years old, and an absolute beast. This works. And there you go for about maybe 100 mil. Actually, we don't need to pay 100 mil. His contract was expiring. So let's try and get him for 80 million. 83. Okay, there you go. With that, we're getting Reese James back. And there you go. Former Chelsea legend. Would you call Reese James a legend, guys? Let me know in the comments. I probably think not. But yeah, he's still a very good player, and we're gonna make him 18 years old now. We already have Frimpong, so Reese James actually wouldn't even start. Or would he now? We'll put him in the starting 11 for now, but that's crazy. There you have it, boys. Reese James, 18-year-old prodigy, and we're just gonna put him on development plans and try and just make him even more insane. Meanwhile, this season, since I'm done with any more transfers, I'm just gonna be renewing contracts, so none of the players end up leaving us. We're now simming through another season. Hopefully, this time, we can end the curse of bottling Champions League finals and win it. Wow, this season, we don't Bruh. even get to the final. Knocked out in the semis. What more do we need to do? We've got such a complete team. But hey, at least we secure trophy number 12, but by goal difference, that was close. And oh boy, have we won the community shield as well. I'll absolutely take that. Trophy number 13. Oh, make that 14 with the FA Cup. At least we're up in the quantity of trophies. Oh, we lost the Carabao Cup final. We're the biggest losers in finals, man, honestly. Oh, wow. For the first time, Kai Havertz, oh, we basically had someone else be the top scorer. That is mental. Havertz and Modric going for it, man. Fair play. Well, we're on 14 trophies at the end of season 8. We've got just two seasons left. What challenge are we gonna get for season 9? Oh, no. Of course. Of course. The bankrupt challenge doesn't come often, but when it comes, it's brutal. We need to sell three of our first team players. Budget gets reset to zero. That means no signings. <sighs> and also, I forgot to mention it. it. It is best three players. So, our highest three rated players, gone. Okay, so our top three players are Modric, Felix, and Havertz. Transfer listing all of them. We're gonna have to sell them all and let's see which clubs they head to. Remember, we can't even replace them. And so, the first domino falls as we forced to sell Kai Havertz. Bankrupt Chelsea, he's gone. And we sold him to Liverpool, by the way, a direct rival. And then not long after, Jao Felix as well getting out of the building. And we sold him again to another Premier League club, Spurs. Brilliant. And finally, Modric ends up joining Manchester United. We've literally strengthened all our rivals. This is bad. But let's see what we can do to our team for the rest of the season. Um, We have Mason Mount. Mason Mount, okay, he can play at camp spot. Ansu Fati is there on the right, which is nice. Broha at striker. That's that's all we can do. We can't sign anyone, by the way. Our budget is zero. That's it, I think. That's all we've got. I think this is how we're going to have to run the team. Yep, and let's see how we do this season. So we've kind of been reset, but let's see. Wow, even after losing our best players to our rivals, we end up beating all of them to win the Premier League in our 15 trophy. Not bad for being bankrupt. We'll take that. And a cheeky community shield as well. 16 trophies now. We're climbing up. But as expected, Chad Champions League was a bit too much. I'm interested to see who our top scorer is with all of our key players gone, and it's actually Broha. Fair play, my man stepped up in a big moment. So after nine seasons, we're now on 16 trophies. Not bad, we're not gonna anywhere be near the leaderboards, but let's see what we do in the final season. Kinda depends on what challenge are we gonna get, a green challenge or a red challenge, good or bad? What's it gonna be? Oh, of course, it's gonna be bad, it's gonna be bad, it's gonna be bad. No, it's good, let's go, sign it. Team of the Year player. Let's go. Final challenge is an awesome one. Kylian Mbappe was a part of the Team of the Year. Here's his Team of the Year card, which means we can sign him. And there you go. We have 95 overall. I know he's 32, but that's fine. It's completely fine. We were missing a striker. We've now signed one of the best strikers possible on this game. Let's flip in goal to look at this first team. Oh my God. I have an idea for probably one of our last ever signings. I think we need a left winger. And the player 
I'm going for is Kvicha. I think 80 million should be enough to get him because his contract's expiring. There you go. And there you go, boys. Kvicha and Chelsea. Our final signing is an absolute banger. Putting him into the team and Mr. Pulisic on the bench. And I reckon maybe in the final season, we can win the Champions League. Final season and we end up winning the Premier League. Make that 17 trophies. Let's go. Make that 18 because we won the Community Shield as well. 19 for the Carabao Cup. I think that's like five times that we've won this. But in our final season, can we reach the Champions League final? Well, we're out of the group. And we've knocked out Leipzig. Through against Spurs, 8-1. Oh my days. And through to the final as well. We're up against Roma. Surely we can't be losing another Champions League final. No, no, no. The final game of this takeover. Can with Mbappe we win the Champions League? Yes, we can. Killing Mbappe. Hat trick to get it done for us. Come on. That's 20 trophies with Chelsea. Nowhere near to put us on the takeover leaderboards, but still pretty good. Look at Mbappe. We signed him for a season. He delivered the Champions League. What a player. Ultimately, though, Modric top scorer for us, and we end on 20 trophies. This takeover was a lot of fun. If you enjoyed it, I'm sure you'll enjoy me take over Barcelona for 10 seasons. Click somewhere here to watch that.